What's up guys? In this video, I am going to show you that how you can create a customer from your Stripe dashboard. So basically the need of this customer is that when you are implementing a specific code into your PHP or maybe any other technology. So at that moment, uh, while doing the tra uh, transactions like uh, for the recurring payment or maybe subscription. So at that time you have needed the customer ID. So how you will be adding the customer ID? First of all, you need to create the customer from the dashboard and then after you will have the client uh, customer ID so currently you can see that I have a lot of customers here first of all you need to open the dashboard of the stripe and then after you will have a on the left menu we have a customers so you should click over it once you will be clicking over it then you will have the list of customers which are already created over there so first uh, for example I am clicking on any of the customer here and down below you can see that all the customer details are over here we have the amount and everything is like how much amount has been transacted and uh, finally we have an important thing which is customer id so current you can see over here that this is cus underscore and there is some uh, numbers uh, as well as the digits so that means this is the customer ID and that is important. We can copy this uh, customer ID and add into our code if we are trying to accept the uh, recurring payment for a specific customer. All right. So let's get started with the creation of the customer, new customer. So you have to click on customers and then after you have to click on this button, add customer. And then you have to mention the name of the customer here, for example, <coughs> Abdul Bari then you can add the email address here for example I have added the email address then you can also add the description so the description means which describe that specific customer so purchasing products from me or maybe you can uh, add here textile purchasing textile products from me so this will be helping you to identify the specific customer then billing email is same as the account email then we have billing country uh, so for example I am writing here India then I need to add some details so for example then I have to add the pin code then I have to mention the state name and finally we have to add here the phone number and if you will scroll it down then you will have the shipping details so I have checked this one so shipping details detail is also same so you have to think about it according to your customer right so we have to select the time zone if you are interested otherwise you can leave it as it is then we have for example choosing a language then the currency so for example Indian rupees is the currency then we have invoice prefix for example you are generating a an invoice for this specific customer so at that moment you can also specify a prefix for the invoice otherwise you can leave it as it is then after we have to add the tax id if you have otherwise you can leave it as it is so i have filled the basic information which i had required so later on i can edit this one so i need to click on add customer so once you will be clicking on add customer then finally you can see that uh, on this list the customer has been added once you will be clicking over it <clears throat> then you will be getting all the details of that specific customer so until now he that customer has not spent even a single penny and I have the customer ID here you can also copy this customer ID and use it in your code if you are interested to charge some amount from this customer then you have subscription for example no subscription payments no payment payment method no payment method credit balance pending invoice and recent activities like customer we have just created all right and here is the account details which we filled billing details if you will click on show more then all the basic details would be reflecting over here 
all right then we have the meta data so finally we created the customer so if you are interested to create the customer and use this customer id so this is the way to do the things all right so once you, this is actually the te in the test mode so if you are interested to create the customer for the live mode for the for accepting the genuine payments actually so you should click over it and this test mode would be disabled and the um, live mode would be enabled all right but for now i am using the test mode that's why i enabled this one so according to your requirement you can create it anytime and you can also create the subscription by clicking on it and uh, also you can add any payment method so currently if you will see here which payment um, payment methods we have already so here you can uh, write the payment methods and So here we have cards so if you will click on the cards then we have active active means this is already activated and you can accept the uh, amount from your customer here you can uh, see the line accept visa and mastercard payment from customers worldwide so that means this is enabled for me and recurring payments is also true refund support is also available dispute support is also available overview is cards all right then we have apple pay so this is also active on to my stripe account but this is the uh, secure remote commerce button on your website so this is the digital wallet actually so currently this is available but not activated so if i am interested to activate this one i need to add some sandbox uh, urls to verify this one uh, because they are sending some information so later on i can uh, enable this one but for now you can see that this is the way to activate the payment methods and uh, accept the payments from your customers all right so if you will see over here you can also export all the details of the customers for example i am clicking over it then the whole bunch of code i mean all for example all all data i am interested to export default columns are five all columns i am interested to export so for example i am clicking on export so the complete data of my customers would be downloaded so currently you can see that i have dot csv file let me open it up and i will be telling you that how this would be reflecting onto my file so in the same way you can also download your customer detail because for the sake of backup you should uh, keep it in your uh, files so that later on when you are trying to identify or maybe doing any calculation so this would be easier for you to do some uh, something like that so here you can see that so here you can see that i have this information created date and there are a lot there is a lot of stuff but initially you can see over here this is the customer id of all the uh, customers this is the description of their products this is the email id and here we have the name of those customers then we have the date and then we have other information which is not required to know for uh, right now but you can see that there is a lot of stuff over here so currency is also over there so this is the way to download the data of your customers now for now i have not required so i am going to delete this one so finally yeah uh, so that's it for now so if you are thinking you have any problem in the stripe account or anything else uh, i am a website developer i am developing websites i am solving the issues so if you have any type of issue you can uh, connect me uh, i have added the um, uh, contact details below in the description don't forget to like this video and subscribe this channel so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next one